Hi folks, it's Arnold here. I hope this finds you very well. What does it mean? How do I do it? What do I say? What good does it do anyway? Will someone please help me? I hope and pray that this poem brings you some help. Will you help me, please? We dismiss it as something we don't understand. At worst, it seems boring. At best, it is bland. And yet there are times when we wish we could pray. But sadly, words fail. We don't know what to say. We may poo-poo prayer when friends are around, but alone with our thoughts, we are on shaky ground. Life's worries and stresses can grip like a vice. Then, who do we turn to to ask for advice? Some say prayer is pointless. Here's what I think. If God is real, surely prayer is a link between God the Creator and His workmanship to bring us together in relationship. When we first fall in love, we just want to spend all our time with that person. We don't want it to end. There are joy and delight uppermost in our mind and somehow they help leave past failures behind. When you fall in love, there is a person and place, and a time when connection is made face to face. That's what happened to me, and can happen to you. I connected with Jesus when just 22. When the going is easy and life seems a breeze, when the wind's in our favour, our minds are at ease. When all is at peace in our own little sphere, then thoughts about God we just don't need to hear. Then life quickly changes and we are thrown a curved ball. Our sphere's bubble bursts and our world starts to fall. Now we're out of control and we struggle to stand and the ground that seemed solid becomes sinking sand. We pray when in trouble or our loved ones unwell and hope God will hear us but can't really tell. Our natural instinct is to seek higher power and yet we pray only in our darkest hour. Perhaps it's my fear of what God might say if he knew all my failures and struggles today. Yet God our Creator knows us through and through and despite all our faults, he still says, I love you. God is such a good Father, you have only to ask. Jesus said, you'll receive no matter the task. He can do the impossible. God is omnipotent. And Jesus, his son, is the proof he has sent. So why am I writing this poem on prayer? I believe it reflects my Father God's care. His care for each person, which cost him great loss when his son led his life down for us on the cross. It is what Jesus did that has opened the way for flawed human beings to be rescued today. So let's make a start and pray on our knees. Lord Jesus, I am sorry. Will you help me, please?
Thanks very much for taking the time to listen to my poem. I hope it was enjoyable and helpful to you. Please feel free to share it with anyone you think might appreciate it. If you would like to hear some more, then just press the subscribe button. In the meantime, keep well and be blessed.